Behind this ugly red curtain, the ugly past. Where are they? Wires. We've been living in a wired world. Wired everything. Adapters sticking you in your car, getting tangled up. It's a mess. Well, at the CES show 2009, true revolution, true breakthrough. Wireless electricity getting power from here to here with no wires in between. Safety issues? No. They figured those out too. Let's check it out. So the first sort of miraculous example of this stuff here at Whitricity is this little unassuming television. In the base here is a receiving coil. In here, in this painting, well, <laughs> the source. That's right, this large square right here, and we're gonna show you another one in a second, is actually creating a magnetic field that then is received, and there's basically a resonant frequency in here that then generates electricity in this television. Bottom line is, that is, I'm not saying transmitting, because it's not transmitting, it's transferring power from that coil, if you will, to this coil and into the TV. Again, look, Ma, no wires. So you're a little confused about how wireless electricity really works. I'm gonna explain it for you. One woman walks into a room and she has a certain vibration. Another woman walks into the room and she has a certain vibration, which is very similar to the first woman. Together, those vibrations speak to one another, transferring energy from one place to another. Together it feels great and it makes me light up. Now this little source coil is actually designed to fit behind standard 16 inch on center studs in a wall. Meaning, you can put this in the wall and transmit no transfer energy from this to a receiving device like this laptop and actually power the thing again without any wires. Let's take a look at how it works. So here's the little miracle that's happening right before your eyes. Power is being transferred from behind this little noteboard wirelessly to this computer, which is sending wirelessly another signal to this little projector right here, which is also not only getting a signal wirelessly from the computer, it's also getting wireless power from this little transfer coil, powering it, look ma, no wires, and sending an image to the wall. I miss wires. If the mind races at this whole idea, no surprise, because in fact it's pretty exciting. Not only will there be a laptop near this transfer coil, if you will, actually there are lots of devices, like say, a cell phone. If we put the cell phone in range, now the device that's attached to this cell phone is prototype, but it will be shrunk eventually to the size of a cell phone, see it light up, so what's exciting about that is not only is that now receiving power, because of the way the system's designed here at Whitricity, it's actually now going to transfer power to another similarly equipped device, meaning you could pretty much daisy chain these things. The result, your whole home is pretty much gonna miss its wires soon. Will you miss them as much as I will? Okay, when you're done with your margarita, then you're gonna have to get your jaw off the floor because this is also wireless electricity. That means if I move this thing away from the power source wirelessly, it actually turns off. Now here's the cool thing. It's inductive coupling, meaning a little power flow in the primary coil here sends out a magnetic field pulsating to a secondary coil in this little device, which then gives it enough power to run. Meaning, in the future kitchen, maybe in the next couple of years, you'll have a primary coil in the countertop. You can take your blender, which has no exposed cables anywhere, and put it on the space where it's gonna get power, and voila, wirelessly, you got what you need. How about this appliance? Damn, my remote's out of batteries. You will never say that again. Why? Because Powercast has come to the rescue. Powercast is another wireless electricity company. How is it possible your batteries will never die? Well, put rechargeable, standard rechargeable batteries in here. You stick this on the Powercast plate or platform, and a radio frequency created by this platform is then picked up or harvested by this little device, and then the power goes to the battery. So it recharges anytime it's near or on the station. Same deal with your game controllers. Never out of juice. The best thing about it is, it doesn't have to be, again, right on it, it can be near it. We'll show you how in a second, but bottom line is, lifetime power means this device will die before your batteries will. How about that? So here's how it works. Power comes in from the wall, goes into this little device, is then transferred into radio frequencies, which are then picked up or harvested by devices out here. For example, these Christmas ornaments. The closer you are to the power transmitter, the brighter the image, the further away, the less power. See that little light? It's on because it's getting power over there, from over there to here. Is it dangerous? <gasps> no, unless you don't like listening to the radio, because that's what it is, radio frequency. So when I get my head a little closer to the platform, it starts to light up, as do I. This little flashlight is a rechargeable flashlight made by Energizer, but it has e-coupled technology inside, meaning they put a new console in here that allows you to charge this flashlight and recharge it for police, fire, and contractors 
right there in this console. You drop it in and it charges. You don't have to plug it in, you don't need an adapter, and if you lose that adapter, you don't have to buy another one at the airport. And you know who you are. I'm Paul Hockman, MSN Tech & Gadgets, wirelessly powered at the CES 2009.